I'm Shane Hollis. This is the touchback and I forgot to turn my microphone on to record this introduction classic. Anyway, where am I? What am I doing? I am on the campus of the University of Maryland to see the Maryland Terrapins play at their home of SCCU Stadium. I'm certainly excited to be checking it out on this day, but it must be said, it still feels really weird that Maryland is actually part of the Big Ten. This is a Big Ten football venue. That blew my mind then, it blows my mind now, and it will blow my mind in the future. But what is this stadium like? What do you need to know? Let's check that out right now. One comment on my video ranking the Big 12 football stadiums has always stood out with me. Someone said that the big time college football venues, well, they don't always live up to the hype, but a lot of times the smaller venues are the ones you go in without high expectations more than exceed what you thought you were going to get. Now, rather that's a case of the hype or just, you know, something not matching what you see on TV. I don't know, but I think that certainly fits the bill with SCCU Stadium on the University of Maryland campus. Speaking of that campus, it's an absolute peach. I thoroughly enjoyed my walk from the parking spot to the stadium. It's about 20, 25 minutes away, and it's just a lovely stroll. Well, at least in autumn, it was lovely. I would imagine this would be quite muggy. If you were doing it in, say, late August or early September, this day, by the way, was absolutely gorgeous, partly cloudy, blue skies, a twinge of autumn in the air. It's really kind of what you would want football weather to be. As for the stadium itself, when you approach it and when you reach it, it's hard not to notice how well it blends in with the rest of the campus. This is one of the biggest things I think college football stadiums need to do. You want it to feel like it is, you know, part of the university. And that is very much the case here. This was not always the case. In fact, if you go back into the late 90s and early 2000s and look at Bird Stadium, it was without question just pretty dumpy. I remember playing Maryland in NCAA college football 2004 and thinking this stadium kind of sucked. So really props to Maryland for fixing it up, for improving it, and for making it a truly beautiful place. Now, it's not the most modern, it's not the nicest stadium there is, and quite frankly, there's only so much you can do with the venue itself. What you get here is more a case of rejuvenation than renovation. The results are still impressive, though. The U-shaped lower tier ensures good sight lines, the decks, placed on the top and allow everyone to be relatively close to the action. Now, mind you, the sun will get to those sitting on the triple-decker stand side of the stadium. I mean, the luxury box side of the stadium, yeah, that's shaded. But if you're a ticket holder and you're intending a noon or 3.30 kickoff on that opposite side, man, bring some sunscreen or you will get burned if the sun is out. So here's the deal. If you are hosting a sporting event and you give me free stuff, I'm basically a fan for life. And man, did Maryland hook it up with the free stuff. Magnet schedule, pom-pom, turtle hat. That's freaking sweet. Honestly, all things considered, I'm pretty surprised about what a great atmosphere, what a great environment, and what a great time I'm having at the Maryland game. Like, I know it doesn't get a lot of love or maybe a lot of national attention, but this has got to be one of the better college football experiences I've witnessed ever. Some people may accuse me of homerism or West Coast bias or what have you, and that may be fair to a certain extent, but I also know a great football experience when I see it, and that is at Maryland. It's halftime here, Maryland's rolling, but I can tell you something, I will not be leaving early because I am having myself a damn fine time here in College Park where the Turpins lead like 27 to 3. I do want to mention one thing which embodies probably the only negative feedback I have about SCCU Stadium. Apparently, Maryland has its own style of pizza, which I knew nothing about up until this very day. And it's sold at the stadium. Folks, let me tell you, it is total ass unless you love Greece, a little bit of cheese on top of what is wrongly described as a biscuit type crust. 
I don't know what this was. It was basically like eating a lesser version of a Red Baron pizza. Now I know it's stadium food, so it's bound to be bad, but this was particularly bad. And I don't think it was just because it was sold at a concession stand. It was so bad, by the way, I didn't even bother taking a video or photo of it. But yeah, you're going to want to avoid the quote unquote Maryland style pizza. One thing I did read online was how some other fan bases find Maryland fans to be crude or that they swear or what have you. That wasn't really my experience. I mean, I heard some swear words, I heard some cursing, but it was no more or less anything you would expect to find on the east coast of the United States. They weren't overly aggressive now. Mind you, Indiana was pretty terrible and this game was a total blowout, but I didn't get the vibe Maryland fans were a aggressive or rude fan base. I just get the feeling that, you know, maybe they like to swear a little bit. And quite frankly, I'm okay with that. Like, there's nothing wrong with dropping an F-bomb every now and then. So, yeah, you may see some reviews about how the Maryland student body is vulgar, blah, blah, blah. But I think that's all a bunch of nonsense or, well, let's say it, it's bullshit. I'm hard pressed to explain why I like SCCU Stadium as much as I do because there isn't one single thing that stands out as being remarkable or exceptional. There's just, there isn't that highlight must see feature. I think this is a case of a sporting venue being more than the sum of its part. You have a good location, a nice campus, a pleasant fan base, but a team that is average most years in less good old Ralph Regions at in charge. But when it all comes together, what you get is, for me, the simple joy of college football. Watching two teams with relatively low or even no stakes playing not for money, not for the result, not to be national champion, not for any of that. They're playing because it's the sport. They're playing to do what they love. Fans are watching it because they want to watch the team that they love. And that is what college football is all about. I was blown away by my trip to see Maryland play at their home of SCCU Stadium. It really embodies everything you'd want college football to be on a Saturday afternoon. Look, it's not high profile. It's not the Happy Valley or the big house, or any of those other Big Ten stadiums that get a lot of hype, but I would argue that for value, for money, this is the kind of place you want to be on a Saturday to watch college football. So yeah, if you ever have a chance to go check out Maryland football at home, I highly recommend you do so. If you're going to a college football game or any sporting event, don't just sit around looking at the scoreboard. That's stupid. But besides that, I want to talk a little bit about a few different things. Number one, I'll never buy Maryland in the Big Ten. Doesn't make any sense to me. And I will never ever buy Pac-12 schools in the Big Ten. It doesn't make sense to me. But I want to make something perfectly clear. This is an outstanding college football experience. I have enjoyed my time in Maryland more than I expected. It's an outstanding venue, outstanding fans, and just a great place to watch a college football game. So if you're in College Park or the Washington DC metro area, definitely come check out the Terrapins because it's pretty awesome. That does it for me, I'm Sharon Hollis. This is the Touchback and as always, hashtag take it out to the 25.